I'm really scared it's not gonna work. Hey! Hello humans. In case you couldn't tell by the massive side behind me or the uh, previous party popping, today is in fact my birthday. And since I am such a bookworm and an internet kid, this is how I'm celebrating by making a YouTube video and singing songs to myself with the cold. It's great. And I figured I wanted to do something special to commemorate my birthday, a special YouTube video. I'm, I'm turning 15 by the way, I don't know if I already said that, I probably did it. And yesterday I watched Grace Helbig's mid-April favourites. She's just perfection by the way, can we just make that clear right now. She is just 10 out of 10. Damn girl, you are good looking and funny. She's just everything that I want to be, you know, and it's not fair. It's not fair. Anyway, I decided to do a favorites video of my own, but instead of like just a month, that's so boring. Why would you do just a month? I'm gonna do 15 years worth of favorites. And at this stage, you're probably like, just move your mouse to see how much time is left on this video. I'm sorry, it won't take that long. It's just gonna be like a favorite thing that have been favorites for a couple of years or like a long period of time. And again, I apologize for my voice. My throat is quite sore and I'm really congested. I really hate being sick. So anyway, let's get straight into it. I've never done a favorites video before, so I'm gonna try to do the work. Hopefully well. My first favorite is my teddy bear, whose name is Teddy. I was so original as a child. I got Teddy like straight after I was born. Yeah, Teddy's been with me the whole way, man. I actually slept with Teddy until I was like 11, 12. I think I was 12 when I stopped sleeping with Teddy. And that was only because he was just getting way too ratty. Like he was actually falling apart from me sleeping every night. <sighs> like Teddy is pretty much my Winnie the Pooh and I'm his Christopher Robin. My second favourite of my lifetime is a book series by the amazing person Scott Westerfeld called Uglies. And I would show them to you, but I don't own it. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Bella, how can you not own your favourite book series? Which I would reply, because it's really hard to source, because it's really underappreciated, you idiot. I wouldn't actually play with it. I actually, I might call you Uglies is an absolutely fantastic book series. And Uglies is just amazing. I remember reading it grade five and I read it and I fell in love with it and I got all my friends to read it and I've liked this book series for five years now. It's a YA dystopian future as girl and in the society when you turn 16 you have this full cosmetic operation and you become pretty and worth something and as you can see I've always been obsessed with society telling us that we're not worth something if we're not pretty. Anyway, it's amazing. I love it. It's getting made into a TV series now. I'm really excited about it. I've actually had dreams of playing Tally because I'm that kind of girl. Casting people for the ugliest TV series. If you're watching this, here. Yeah. My hair's already kind of frizzy. I could be Tally. Can you see Tally in my face? I can learn to have an American accent. I can. Just give me a chance. In all honesty though, I would love to play Tally or Shay or anyone. I would play David if I had to. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and read the books. Also, if you just like why dystopian futures, you should read Uglies. If you are a breathing human being, you should read Uglies. Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Go look it up. Buy it on Amazon, buy it on Kindle, buy it on iBooks, buy it from Barnes & Noble, buy it from Big W, buy it! read uglies. The next thing on my list of favourites from my past and my 15 years of living are Impulse Body Sprays. I found these under my bathroom cabinet when I was like 9 um, and I still have them because I felt so grown up just spraying myself with these. This one is particularly, you can, it's a lot emptier because I like thrill more than I like teas. I think I was actually put off by the fact it was, you know, called teas. Because here's here's the description. This was nine-year-old me reading this as well. Tease. Impulse tease. Irresistibly flirtatious. And of course, nine-year-old me was like, that's so inappropriate. They're saying to be flirtatious. I'm a good girl. So of course. 
course I went for Thrill instead. I actually still take these with me places because I am afraid of smelling bad and I just really like it. I, you know, I really like how this one smells, I kind of like how this one smells, because aerosol so it doesn't want it to leak. I've got a liquid pump one and that leaks sometimes. Ongoing favourite of six years, these impulse body sprays. I'm pretty sure my mum bought them for herself, but then I stole them. So, sorry mum. Sorry about that. Another favourite of mine is this notebook. I've been using this notebook since grade three. I've been using this notebook for a really long time. And basically, I call it my book book because most of my story ideas or plays are in here. When I was in grade four, grade four, or grade five, I think, I had went to speech and drama class and I actually wrote some of the plays that we performed. We, I actually wrote the script and made up the characters, which was, yeah, I surprised myself that I did that and I know that the girls in my class hated me for it. Oh my gosh. These are terrible. <laughs> oh, I coloured it in everything. Anyway, this book has been with me for so long. I've got it for Christmas one year, I think. And I have scripts in it. You know, I have random drawings of one-eyed skateboard chicks. I have short stories, like little, just little bits and bobs. I have drafts. I actually have, this is so much of my past. Because I love writing. I still love writing. I have planning for the series that I was going to write. So yeah you guys, that is all of my lifetime favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed kind of just going back <laughs> through memory lane and just seeing um, what I used to do and what I used to love and things that I still love. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope that you look up into the sky and see something like a bird and feel inspired by that bird. I am back at school now. School holidays is over. So there won't be as many extra videos because I just won't have the time probably. There's more stuff coming though. There's stuff in the works that's going to be coming out throughout the next month or so. Like the rest of my beach holiday vlogs, they're still coming. And um, I'm working on this project for school. So they'll be coming out really soon. And yeah, I hope that you all don't catch a cold, flu, sore throat by watching this video. That isn't actually possible, but it might be in an alternate reality that you could be in. Bye! <laughs>